Hi, I'm building a coffee table right now, um, and I'm at the point where I've cut all the joinery, and I need to cut an arch on the bottom rail. This is the, the side and the, the one bottom rail put in there. Um, I cut a flat arch on the bottom to kind of lighten up the look at the bottom. Um, and I'm going to do that on the CNC router. Um, so uh, I wanted to make a quick video to show you how I set that up and how I make cuts work. So here's my setup on the router. And I'll try and explain uh, what I've got going here and how I'm going to try and accomplish this. Um, the router will cut about 32 inches. That's the size of the spoil board here. Um, the piece that I'm cutting is 55 inches long, so I'm actually going to have to do this in two halves. Um, basically what I did is I took a three inch strip of uh, plywood, screwed it on one side, screwed it on the back as the reference. Um, and then I came down and machined it so I know exactly um, it's square with the machine axes um, and I know exactly the, the position of it. Um, I use these standard hold down clamps I use all the time. They seem to work really well. Um, and uh, basically how it works, take my piece here, make sure I get the right side. And it slides against this side of the fence and then along the top. Screw it down. And that gets it nicely referenced. So basically it has about a about an eighth inch of flat here, and then it leads in to a nice smooth arch which comes out in the middle of the piece about a half inch up from the bottom, so it's not a very significant arch, but certainly gives it that nice uh, nice graceful curve there. Um, and what it's going to do, it's going to come in and lead in um, with a tangential arch up into this curve, come just about halfway, about an inch past halfway, um, and lead out. Um, as it comes past the halfway point, it actually still follows the arch as it continues to come in. Um, so I should be I should be fine uh, once I flip it around, uh, but it leads out um, cuts 0.2 inch depth cuts, so it'll cut down four passes. This is about three quarters of an inch, um, so it'll cut it down. But you get like the uh, stair step looking where you keep doing the depth cuts. So then after that, it does a finishing pass at full depth all the way down. It should leave a nice smooth surface because you can do a nice climb cut with a CNC, um, kind of a little bit more dangerous to do by hand, so should end up with a pretty nice finish that barely needs sanding, is the goal at least, so uh, let's see how it does. So there's the cut. I'd say that's pretty nice and smooth. Got about an eighth inch of flat here, if you can see that. I'm not sure if you can. But let's flip it over and try the other side.
that's the finished cut. You see just a tiny, tiny bit of a bump here. I think I'll smooth that out, but see the grains going the other direction. It's a little rougher here, but a little bit of sanding is not too bad. I just got to do the other long rail and two short rails. Okay, well now I got the two long rails cut. Let's cut the short rail. This one I can do in one shot, of course. And I'll uh, see how nice that comes out. I took the uh, dust cover off the router, so you can see it cut. Now just to show you how fast that is, I'm going to cut the other one. The finished part. There we go. Both parts cut in about five minutes. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments uh, section below. And if you like this video, give it a like. I'll see you next time. Thanks.